Tony, the political issues in Newton Falls over the past couple of years have been well documented with council members being recalled and quitting, city officials being fired, and the police department eliminated. Now there's an effort to change the city charter with the end goal being to make city government run smoother. Earlier tonight, there was a meeting and First News reporter Desiree Gosselin was there. She has our top story tonight at 11. That charter is actually a contract between the citizens and those that govern us. A seven-member commission made up of Newton Falls residents heard concerns and suggestions from other citizens. John Richards chairs the commission and says they are in the early stages of planning and need input from the public. What we're looking at is can we improve it? Can we make it more trustworthy? Can we put checks and balances? that increases trust. This is Julie Lemon's second time on the commission. One of her chief concerns is the police department. That was a big one that caught my eye because the Article 5, Section 3 states that we are to have a Newton Falls Police Department. At a previous meeting, City Law Director Brad Bryan submitted a list of subjects the commission may want to review. They include removal of council members, council seat vacancies, and making changes to the police department. Currently, there is a lawsuit against Newton Falls over the disbandment of the police department and charter requirements. Requirements. As far as the law director's list, we appreciate that list. So far, we've gone through nine of those items. Several of them will continue on for review. Before any changes can be made to the charter, voters will need to approve those changes at the ballot box in the November general election. Desiree Goslin, WKBN 27 First News.